Alright, so here we are for the second match between Fritzler and Tomatello. With me still Sam. Uh, um, we hope to see as exciting a game as uh, the previous one. And uh, it seems Tomatello is playing the classic uh, criminal Wayland combo. Whereas we're going to see a good friend Fritzler playing has Bioroid. Which is why I'm totally rooting for Fritzler. <laughs> since he is playing uh, decks that nobody else is. I'm very, very in favor of this. Uh, my last tournament, uh, that was my exact combo, Wizard and um, mm. HP engine. Are uh, you the real life tournament, yeah? In a real life tournament, yes, yeah, that's right. It's a very interesting opening hand there. I think he's probably going to keep that because uh, an early inside job is extremely strong, mm. as is obviously Sneak Door Beater, mm. uh, and then he's also got money generation from... On the other hand, Fritzler has uh, an interesting well. hand. I'm not sure he's going to keep it, though, because it's some fairly expensive ice. There we go, Hido. I obviously don't know something that Tomatello knows, because he has mulliganed that hand, and mm. I almost certainly would have kept it. Yeah, and what I didn't get to see, it. what was it? He had uh, a stim hack, uh, an inside job, a Sneak Door Beater, an Armitage Code Busting and a um, uh, the um, anti-meat damage mm. one, not, not craft space. Um, yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. Well, there we go. He has almost the same kind of uh, hand. He has two cards to uh, get into uh, stuff. The same uh, sneak door and economy, basically, the Desperado. Uh, then again, uh, it's probably that um, the economy of the army does was better at the start. But we we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think I, I, it's more slightly more versatile than the uh, Desperado, and um, having the stim hack there was. Also oh, fun. oh, so nasty, nasty for Fritzler. Two agendas in the hand against criminal. Let's see if he's going to play There's that economy. Yeah, let's see if he's going to play uh, something in his hand to avoid trashing it. I would probably play that economy down. There we go. He's going to play his Atlas, his uh, Adonis, probably. Problem is, um, against criminal, you're always paranoid about uh, sneak door betas because they run your hand, play sneak door beta around your archives, and you go like, Ugh. I'm poor and uh, I'm being stolen from. And uh, <laughs> if he, if uh, Tomatello actually does that, he might easily start stealing the game from the first turn because every card in his hand is trashable or stealable. It is, and that is a very, very nasty position. Yeah. To be in. I think uh, Fritz would have been better if he had kept his first hand. Then again, he only needs four I agenda... Didn't, didn't... Hmm? Sorry? I didn't actually get to see uh, Fritz's opening hand because I was uh, th uh, thinking about Thomas. It Hannah was uh, three eyes, two of them too expensive and an enigma. And uh, uh, Melanz and uh, Priority Requisition. Mm. I mean, that, that I can see why you would look in that hand. I mean, it depends on your deck composition, whether or not you think you can get better ice. Mm. But um, mm. there's always that. What's the old adage about um, playing Corp? If you have two ice in hand, don't mulligan it. Probably. <laughs> depends on how many agendas, of course, you have. But yeah, I mean, having uh, four cards that are not agendas and of them three be nice. I think it's somewhat better than having um, what a hand he has now. The problem is the sneak door. It it's coming. No, it's not. Okay. That's good enough. He's going to trust that, uh, that asset and uh, that means he won't be able to play that uh, sneak door. So... That is at least something. I think I think the uh, next turn is very much going to be no. dependent. No. Oh. He's going he to let him keep it. He knows he cannot actually use it. So uh, he's probably going to just check everything. And uh, next turn, take a credit, start running uh, HQ. Yeah, you It's going to be really tricky for uh, Fritzer to actually come back from this game. Really interested to see how he's going to recover. This it depends on whether or not he can draw ice. Yeah, yeah. 
I think he's going to draw at least two times until he can find some ice. And if not, he's made so... <laughs> oh, Jesus. How did he not he's see it? He's got a dish one to archives. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He just, just run. He, did he trust him? Yeah, he trusts him and lands. All right, what he can do now is play us and accelerate the beta test. No, it's not good. He's... The runner can just trust us. Oh, so bad. It is very bad. You know what, what he yeah, should do, what he can do? Play accelerator beta test, Melanz and us on top of the accelerator beta test. Mm. Yeah, very true. Maybe that will save his ass. Maybe. No, he's going to do but no, uh, He's put it in the HQ, but it's not going to be enough. The uh, runner can just uh, this trust that, it. Yeah. Okay, that mm. pretty much tells the runner, you know, he has the goods. Yeah, I, th I, th I think, think that I think that's. All the time is looking at that, going, wait, why is there an upgrade there? Um, this early on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think he's tipped his hand there. Um, the good thing is, uh, Tomatello doesn't have any money, so he cannot sneak door. Um, and if he does sneak door, he won't be able to trust anything that he sees. And us. So, it's a fairly good play. Yeah, he's uh, fairly protected. The, the worst he can uh, see now is a mimic, for example. Yeah. But anything that Tomatello can do at the moment is going to just uh, be very difficult. So I think it was actually a very, very decent play. I didn't notice that Tomatello had no money because he trusts so many stuff. Actually, what? He, yeah, he has three credits now. I think the fact that um, uh, Bizla has not played any ice so far should probably indicate to Tomatello that um, he, does, he doesn't have any. Yeah. Uh, because, because with Desperado in play, that's a lot of economy that Tomatello can generate while running. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think it would have been better for him to rather than to run R&D, would have been to um, get the credits and stall that sneak. No, actually, that's no point. Yeah. Why? Because running R&D is getting credits. There's no point not to run R&D. He has no, Desperado. But, um, I, 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 think, I think, I mean, if I was playing, I think I would be thinking that uh, there's agendas in hand. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But uh, he's probably wants more efficient economy than just uh, using a click to gain credits, and he got it. That's exactly what he needed. I think Fritzl was more afraid of uh, inside jab into his hand. That's why he plays at us. He probably didn't expect him to uh, simply uh, run it. And I'm pretty sure he just raised that uh, Adonis now so that um, he won't... Uh, have the money to uh, trust it enter on his hand. So I suspect we may even see that ice wall in the archives. It's far too dangerous to uh, leave those archives uh, free. No, actually he's just going to protect okay. R&D. Which is also a good play because he, he just needs to stop uh, that money generation. Yeah, yeah. Tomatello coming out. It's a good play. Yeah, he just has to hope. It's a good play and Tomatello now has to have a choice. He can run hand with Snickdo and uh, trust that ass. Uh, actually, I think he can actually trust both the ass and the Adonis if he runs. So yeah, he installs the sneak door first, runs, uh, runs um, HQ and then... Uh... No, it's, I call it. It's four credits. Then he gets three back. Trust his access. Uh, so you're left with three. And then he runs on the Adonis and he trusts it and he's left with zero. Uh, I'm not sure you would do it because you, as a runner, you don't really want to be left at zero because the corporation can just, you know, play an ice down, play an agenda behind it. And he's going to go for it, okay. Yeah, that's why I think it should have been, with such a vulnerable issue, he probably should have protected his archives first. Raising what? Ah, yeah. So, that task is going to be a little stopgap there. <laughs> really difficult game for, uh, for Fritzler. He's 
he shouldn't. He's extremely lucky he drew the ash, though. Uh, yeah, if it was another corporate troubleshooter, he... Um, yeah, he was in big trouble. Yeah. I think he should probably not uh, not boost it at all. Four races is more than enough. If uh, the runner uses all his money to uh, break the trace, no, he actually doesn't want him. Okay. Yeah, this thing, I think he's, 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 that really does indicate, you know, he's got something in hand that yeah. can be stolen. Yeah. Um, I think by not boosting it, you just kind of leave that open a little bit. No, I wouldn't have boosted it at all. You know, he can access an, one card, and then if it's a corporate troubleshooter, for example, he can't trust it anymore. And then he cannot trust his but his uh, Adonis campaign either. There we go. Basically, you gave him the signal that you have the good stuff. So let's hope he hits the... No. <laughs> well, it's good, it's good. He, he now cannot trust his Adonis campaign, at least, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's decent, it's decent. He's going to run again, though. That's the, that is the best that Frizzler could have hoped for, um, I think. Now he wants him to hit his uh, corporate troubleshooter, of course. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, Matt Thomas, I know something's up. He knows oh, he there. hit the worst agenda. He really wanted that agenda. <laughs> oh. oh my god, come on, draw cards, draw cards. There's a nice there somewhere. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Saved. This is a true gentleman because I would have been raging at this point at my deck. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's so nasty. He has to put an ice on R. Yeah, he oh, just wanted to uh, fill his hands to have more buffer. Yeah. But he probably won't go looking for an end around the ice first. But uh, if uh, lacking that, he's probably going to go for that katana. Okay. It'd be quite a nasty hit for. Um, yeah, it it will be, it will be. It will be, but it would still actually um, probably still another agenda which is going to hurt. Come on, your katana, you know you want it. And he's full of sentries, eh? All because as a criminal. If I, hit, if I found an Ichi that I could get through with three three of my time, I'd be like, thank you very much, I get to look at one of your cards and take three credits. Yeah. Um, so, it, you know, I think the Ichi's just not going to do anything at this yeah. point. Yeah, it's not it needs to be that Katana. Yeah, Ichi is not good. Basically, exactly as you said, it's not wasting your whole turn when you're actually getting three credits. Mm. Yeah, Fritzer really has bad luck in this tournament uh, as a corporation, I think. Uh, I've seen him play one where he basically just had another situation like this where he was just drawing agendas. It must be quite difficult for the players, knowing that there are... That, that with Cyber Exodus, the, the meta has significantly changed. Um, and they must be playing other decks, you know, in, in other sort of, you know, um, friendly matches and um, yeah. uh, off, uh, uh, offline. But... Um, you know, I wonder if they're sitting there looking at their decks going, this could be so much better. Mm. Uh, it must be quite difficult for them to play with that, that restriction. Yeah. Come on, there's no, there's no, there's no selection there. It's definitely Katana that you want. Think about it, man. Think about it. There we go. There it is. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Well, he's probably going to steal another agenda, but uh, he's going to take three cards that are going to hit. And as soon as he sees those sneak, those two, um, uh, what you call them? If he, as soon as he sees those two inside jabs, he knows you can uh, play an agenda from the fast, perhaps. Well, if there's any karma in the world, he's going to um, see that Ichi instead. Yeah. There we go. That's going to hurt a bit. Bam. Bam, bam. So now, now Fritzl knows his servers are fairly safe. Funny would be if he actually had the money for a snare. It might have actually cost uh, uh, Tomatello to break out. Oh, the three-pointer, oh. no. Again, worst one that he could have got from that hand. Now you want to beat Zinteki. You want to go like, yeah, you still buy Zeta, but you die. <laughs> oh, so bad. Poor Fritzler.
<laughs> ah, he actually has exposes. Interesting. See very few players playing with the infiltrations. And he's going to go and trust it. I find them absolutely necessary in my um, Chaos Theory deck. Mm -hmm. Infiltration. Um, just the ability oh. to, to know what I'm running on. You just can't afford to run into a June bug as uh, Chaos Theory yeah. ever. Yeah. Your, uh, low card count. So what is Fritzler looking for? Enter run. Probably for HQ. Interesting that he runs Victor. It's usually the first card I get rid of. I'd say I like. I, I actually like Victor. I know one, I'm not. Uh, I'm one of the few, but I prefer him. Why does he protect Katana? Why does he protect the Roto Turret? Because if uh, if uh, uh, our friend plays a, a Ninja, he can break uh, Roto Turret for two, while he can break the Katana for four. Maybe he's thinking, okay, maybe okay. he'll do for a, go for a suicide run, but I really doubt Tomatello will risk it after stealing two agendas already. Basically, this signifies to Tomatello that, you know, there's no more agendas there. I think uh, in his place, I would have probably played uh, that and played an agenda as well. Victor? Not Victor, the uh, Enigma. Oh, the Enigma. He... Where is the Enigma? Did he try? He to just played it? it on his archives. Oh, thought well, it was the Victor that went down. No, I see it in his hand now. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, at no, least it looks that this game is probably going to end much faster. But unfortunately, it's going to happen due to bad luck. Oh. Oh, that is. So much rage, you know, so much rage. This is the absolute... Now, now he's wishing he had put it, he's got that enigma. <laughs> he's, uh... he's got to ditch one to archives. Cause yeah. The thing is, one of the, thing, the nice things about Sneak Door Beater is, uh, for, the, for the Corp is, with it in play, the, the runner very rarely checks archives because, because they use their archives run to get into HQ instead and get the money. Mm. Which means that I've often found that agendas against a criminal using Sneak Door Beater uh, agendas are a little bit safer in archives than they are in your hand. Yeah, true. Um, but so very often, I, I would have ditched one. very often during the late game, uh, the criminal will just you know run it, just to make sure you're honest. Yeah, Especially, safe. very often I've discarded it and I thought you know I was uh, safe, or um, it basically saved me for a while. But as soon as it looks like I'm trying to win, uh, that I'm going to win next turn or something, they say, okay, fuck it, I'm just going to run and see what I can see, and I lose. And I raids. <laughs> so he really should start building a good remote now. Those uh, those agendas are probably going to be burning a hole in his hand. And uh, Thomas has drawn exactly the card he needed, Ninja, which means he can now get through into. Um... Actually, he can't get yeah. through anywhere because he's protected. On both sides, but of course he can get through uh, HQ if he um, yeah, bypasses victory. that back to victory. Yeah, it's a question if he's willing to uh, face check it. Of course, that will be GG with zero points for poor Victor probably, for poor uh, Fritler. Let's see. He should go to go for the killing fl killing blow. I used to hate um, Ninja against uh, Katana when I was playing Jinteki because I was always raging how my chum didn't do actually anything with a Katana. And, um, mm. But then I realized that against uh, Ninja it doesn't have to be because uh, Katana is the best, one of the best ones to have against Ninja. In terms of the economy? Yeah, yeah. Because costing four it's time to break. It's crap against Mimic, but against Ninja it's really decent. Mm. 
I wonder why um, he chose to um, ice up R and D there. I mean, at some point you've got to say, well, I've got, I've drawn so many agendas. I think he's yeah. playing um, a slow game, and he's probably afraid of uh, losing by Maker's Eye or something. But I think he's generally playing a slow game. He's slowly building up the economy, and uh, then he's going to try and uh, score something. Problem is. Problem is with infiltrations and steam hack is very unlikely he score anything at the moment. I wonder if a better play would have been to put the New York Tana and a corporate troubleshooter down on a on a remote um, um, and deplete, deplete Tomatello's hand again. Uh, um, I don't know if he would, it would work because Tomatello has much more money, and um, the uh, Ninja is perfect against the uh, troubleshooter. Three for five, where you pay one for one. So not 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 necessarily to not to um, but to get him to waste a click and lose cards. No. Um, uh, but then of course, yeah, he is uh, everything in his hand is an agenda. Then so yeah. There we go. We're going to see that the corroder going, and then we're going to see constant runs. Uh, good thing he actually played that uh, R and D uh, ice because uh, his was R and D was going to be very vulnerable with only that ice wall there. Okay, another ninja, money. So bad. It's a pity he's actually stole the three pointer because uh, now he cannot even uh, bluff with one agenda or sacrifice one agenda in order to play another. Mm. Now, if he actually stole a two pointer, he could go, Yeah, I'm going to play that uh, mandatory upgrades with two advancements. And uh, if you're afraid it's a secretary, I can just score it. No, but um, now there's no way to. Uh, to, to to even you know attempt an agenda. Quite a lot of thought. I'm wondering why he's thinking about it so much. Is every single card he plays that's not uh, an agenda is um, increasing his agenda concentration in his hand? Mm. This is exactly what he doesn't want. Yeah. I wonder if he should have put that corporal troubleshoot down on um, on HQ uh, instead of taking that additional credit. Maybe try to uh, get some of those program stuff to replace the He can't because again, corporal troubleshooter is bad against Ninja. It would take him six credits just to make the runner play three. So it's just not worth it. I think if he can get to the point where he can uh, help. Yeah, but uh, as soon as the runner is... It's another turd, isn't it? It's uh, also likely that uh, once the runner sees an upgrade in his archives, he might go through archives. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, if he had... if he, I think if he sees uh, the advantage and uh, the runner... Uh, and. Uh, thinks it's an ass, he may actually, you know, play that corporate troubleshooter and maybe he'll have enough to overpower the ninja. But it's going to be extremely costly. It's a, it's a very, very good thing that he ran on uh, yeah. archives there instead yeah. of the HQ because the Victor would have just... Not been there. Well. Actually, if he runs Victor now, he... Oh, yeah. He can still see what it right, is, so yeah, he knows yeah. next turn. But if he runs Victor now, probably he's going to play the Neura Katana on top of it. Good play there. Very much feel like this game could uh, be dependent on whether or not um, Rizzler draws and end the run before uh, Tomatello draws a um, peacock. Mm. Well, yeah. Probably, yeah. Well, still, it's eight credits just to break through. The problem is the high concentration of agendas in the hand. Yet another auto turret. There we go. I think he's probably going to play something on HQ because okay. he knows that Victor is not very decent. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, maybe Corporal Troubleshooter behind it? No. He wants the economic advantage first. But it's very difficult to have it. Such a bad hand at the start. My god. Problem is that uh, whatever economic advantage he thinks he has as soon as uh, he plays something that is going to be exposed and if it's an agenda it's going to be steam hacked. So even uh, corporate troubleshoot is just not going to work. No. Go. Yeah. We might yeah, see yeah, the yeah. GG here. Most likely we will. It's three in five chance to uh, steal the agenda that he needs. Never tell me the odds. Han Solo said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's so bad with six points. Poor Fritzler couldn't get... Getting such a bad hand. I mean... Actually, no six points. With winning the game. And... Let's see. Let's see. No! Oh, he gets <laughs> to live another day. That's what I said. <laughs> Luck smiles on poor Fritzler. <laughs> Oh, that katana is so going in HQ now. <laughs> or maybe he won't, because uh, if he puts it there, he probably betrays that he has uh, agendas. So, mm. so difficult now. What to do, what to do? Because it's, it's good. <gasps> Go, my <laughs> Oh, my God. This is just the game does not want him at all. Do not put that on HQ. No! He's lost it. it it's okay, it's okay. Because um, I, 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 I think if I... As Tom Mattel, if I'm looking at that going, well, I've got to spend two clicks um, to get through that. Um, and I don't, I don't even know that he has a agenda in hand, so maybe I'm thinking I should focus on other things, um, like you know exposing those ice on R and D, um, and trying to get some agendas from there. But by putting another um, ice on HQ, you're kind of saying, yeah, there's something to be had in here. But you know, what choice do you have? This is that's this just you. You well, don't you? Don't, Put an ice into uh, archives. Oh, sorry, an agenda into archives. I, I say is what you'd have to do. Mm. Okay, it's probably the Gina. I really doubt he'll be able to. Even if he hits that corporate troubleshooter, uh, it just oh. poor Fritzler. That's all I have to say. It's just this game was not not kind to him. This is why I really want uh, best uh, two out of three. I think is the best way to play the runner because sometimes you get so uh, lack screwed. I'm just going to GG here, type it, get ready to push enter. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I, 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 I think the best thing for him to do with him is put in your Katana. If he's going to play it, put it on on um, R and D, as if to say there's nothing here uh, in, in in HQ. I'm safe with you running on my HQ now. It, it's got to be a bluff play at that point when you're that long in terms of score. I, I don't think you can win by um, just slowing them down.
quite sad because that 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 first game was so even and 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 yeah. really, really yeah. um you know quite quite fantastic in terms in terms of the um uh choices that the, the that uh, the players made mm. and for it to end on a game where there's really nothing you can do with yeah, the players and pretty much against the wall yeah i mean he the poor guy threw six agendas and he had three of them in the first six cards it was just brutal i assume, I assume, he's, uh, I assume he's running all two points yeah no, wait, no he had, no, he had points, the uh, priority so. requisition as well so, but no i mean he, he let me see he, look he, he had just ice and a few economy and the, the, now that i see his deck it's almost just ice yeah that's bad luck And uh, thank you, Sam, for joining me. And uh, I'll let you know the next time.